Nobody thought that one day we will be able to live in space in real time and observe it with our very own eyes. But it is a reality today. The scientists and researchers are eager to discover the universe, and this is why we now have the mighty James Webb Telescope to be our wings and eyes in space. James Webb has recently sent back some mind-blowing images from space, showing us its true potential. So the first images from the Webb Telescope have wowed the world with their beauty. But what do they mean for the future of astronomy? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about what do the first images taken by James Webb Telescope tell us about the universe. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Planet Earth had its head in the sky when the James Webb Space Telescope's first images of the cosmos were revealed. NASA unveiled full-color images from the $11 billion James Webb Space Telescope recently marking the first of what's sure to be many releases from this super-powerful optical instrument. But even taken by themselves, these five images mark a massive achievement and the culmination of a 26-year-long process to give humanity an even more detailed look into the early universe. Five stunning images from the web showcased the telescope's capabilities, capturing views of stars being born and a group of galaxies locked in a cosmic dance. The pictures are the deepest and sharpest color images of the universe so far. The revelations from these images include a galactic cluster and a black hole, the atmosphere of a distant planet, a distant star's epic death knell, and a stellar nursery where stars are born. We've gotten to look at some of these targets before thanks to JWST's predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, and all of them were known to astronomers. But due to the unprecedented sensitivity of JWST's instruments and its capacity to view objects in the infrared spectrum, we're able to see these galactic forms with more clarity than ever before. So, while celebrating the beauty of the images, scientists have been keen to point out the scientific significance of the International Project, which is a collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. These images show us that Webb works incredibly well. Webb will help us study our universe in much more detail, said Kai Noski, an astronomer and communications officer at the European Space Operations Center. In addition to these things, Webb's first image was a deep field image of a tiny speck of the vast universe showing distant galaxy clusters, some of these galaxies are more than 13 billion years old and were created when the universe was in its infancy. It is light from the early universe in its first 500 million years, which is reaching us today, Noski stated. So, how will James Webb look back in time? The curious effect of looking back in time is caused by the speed of light and how long light takes to reach us. Light travels at 300,000 kilometers every second. This is extremely fast, but space is really big, so it can still take a long time for light to travel. For example, the Sun is about 150 million kilometers from Earth, and it takes around 8 minutes for light to reach us from our Sun. The objects in Webb's images are many billions of light years away, and one light year is the distance traveled by light in one year, which is about 9.5 trillion kilometers. This means the light has traveled through space and time to reach us over billions of years. We would have to wait another 13 billion years to see these galaxies as they are today. The scale of these distances is difficult to imagine, but it certainly makes a walk to the store feel rather short by comparison. Talking about these breathtaking images, in the kaleidoscopic images of the Carina Nebula and Stefan's Quintet, Webb shows us emerging stellar nurseries where stars are being born and developing. Scientists have never been able to observe galaxies interacting in this much detail. It's thanks to Webb's infrared cameras that we are able to see the stars in all their glory. Infrared gives us a lot more information on the young universe than was possible before. The light from these galaxies was stretched as it traveled to us. Webb lets us see that, says Noeski. The colors and the cosmic cliffs were artificially added to the original image by Webb's science team. 
However, that's not to say the colors are not there. In fact, the light emitted from stars contains information far richer than we can see with the human eye. Researchers use data about light emitted from stars to understand how galaxies form, grow, and merge with each other, and in some cases, why they stop forming stars altogether. For example, blue galaxies contain stars, but very little dust. The red objects are enshrouded in thick layers of dust, while green galaxies are populated with hydrocarbons and other chemical compounds. Webb will address some of the great open questions of modern astrophysics. What determines the number of stars that form in a certain region? Why do stars form with a certain mass, NASA said in a press release. It's also important to note that one of the images revealed by James Webb Telescope about four galaxies is slightly misleading, as the leftmost galaxy is actually far in the foreground, around 40 million light years away from us, while the remaining four galaxy systems are around 290 million light years away. These four galaxies are clustered so close together, relatively speaking, that they actually interact with each other. Adding to this, the image even reveals a supermassive black hole located at the center of the topmost galaxy. That's roughly 24 million times the mass of the Sun. So it will take weeks and months to analyze the first images and demonstrate more of what Webb is capable of doing in the future. Each photo we see is a composite of many hours of imaging. Study teams will slice and dice the information into many images for detailed study much like clinicians do with magnetic resonance imaging MRI. It was a big step forward from what Hubble showed us. The sharpness and level of detail made it clear how much potential Webb has for scientific research. Webb not only looks further back in time, but also in higher detail, Noeski stated. Therefore, Webb will help scientists to answer questions about how planets, stars, galaxies, and ultimately the universe itself are formed. So, can Webb actually find Earth 2.0? There are over 5,000 confirmed exoplanets, or planets which orbit a star other than our Sun in the Milky Way alone. The existence of exoplanets raises a fundamental question. Are we alone in the universe? Indeed, the explicit goal of NASA's exoplanet program is to find signs of life in the universe. Now, thanks to JWST, Scientists can capture more information about those planetary bodies and hopefully learn more about whether life exists on these planets and, if so, under what conditions it can thrive. While less beautiful than the cosmic cliffs, Webb's spectrographic analysis of the exoplanet WASP-96b's atmosphere is an example of perhaps more exciting information to come in the future. WASP-96b is a type of gas giant around 1,150 light-years away that bears little similarity to the planets in our solar system. Webb's team has analyzed the planet's transmission spectrum, measuring starlight filtered through the planet's atmosphere like a barcode. This is an amazing trick that astronomers use. The planet passes in front of its star, a bit of light passes through the planet's atmosphere, and that light shining contains the chemical signature of the atmosphere, imprinted into it like a barcode," said Noeski. The analysis showed the planet has an atmosphere that contains water, along with clouds and haze. But WASP-96b won't be supporting life as we know it anytime soon, as the planet is made of gas and orbits its star extremely close, making it an extremely hot and hostile environment. Therefore, the analysis of WASP-96b provides a hint of what Webb has in store for exoplanet research. Exactly what will happen is yet to be determined. The telescope is open to proposals from worldwide scientific communities about which exoplanets to study in the future. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.